For the last month, uh, I felt prompted by the Spirit of God to go share the gospel every day. Go, make disciples, baptizing, and teaching. All four of those that night when I'm tucking my own son into his bed, it was like, Kyle, you need to do all four of those. But what the heck does that word even mean? Make. What do you mean make disciples? Because discipleship is a lifestyle. It's not a course that you take in Sunday school or in seminary. Discipleship is following the example of Jesus Christ. That's the master plan of evangelism. And I knew that my life was going to change because of those 31 days. The Bible says literally as of today, you are born again. What's happening in the United States is pastors are defining everything the church is doing as disciple making. And the problem with it is when everything is disciple making, nothing is disciple making. Father God, I need help, I need guidance, I need rest. And I think discipleship happens more on a relational level where I'm intentional. I'm intentional in imparting my life to those, specifically young people that are walking with me or people that are walking with me. It says they roused Jesus and asked if he cared that they were drowning. Do you ever get to that point with the Lord? This is hard, by the way. Like everything about this is hard. Not because I don't love Stephanie and Leon and their family. I have a family. I have life. I have a whole different side of things that they don't even know about. But, but I'm, I'm committed. How does he get, how does he pay for food? Uh, como pagar por uh, comida? Oh, la verdad que ando pidiendo en la calle. Uh, he begs in the street. So what a lot of people don't see is it's not always just this Bible study, you guys. It's not just this discipleship of like, hey, let me preach the word. It's not, you can't plan it. You have to love it and live it.